hey beautiful people welcome back to another video so i'm going to show you really quickly how i would wrap my hair at night if i decided i wanted to wear it bone straight you guys know normally i love to put bombshell curls in my hair so stay tuned for a in-depth flat iron curl tutorial my mom is in there blow drying her hair if y'all can hear <laughs> We're just both doing our hair tonight. So I'm going to show you how I wrap it. So you're going to need some large bobby pins. And this right here is the secret weapon, the doobie wrap. Now, if you guys are familiar with the Dominican hair salon, they sell these doobie wraps. And this just really helps wrap your hair super easy. Now, I used to do it the old school way when my hair was not layered up. You guys know I'm growing out my choppy layers. This is what happens when you get real scissor happy when you wear your hair curly. So the first thing I do is just kind of comb everything forward so don't worry about your part for right now because you're going to find that when you get ready to take it down again so i like to just comb everything forward and i like to part right here at the ear and this is how i'm going to begin the wrapping process so i like to just comb in circular direction literally just around my head now sometimes I'll take a hard brush and just kind of mold it like that take a large bobby pin hold this section in place like so and then we're going to keep taking parts or sections so I'm going to take some more from the back doesn't have to be perfect parts or anything because you're going to see what I mean by the magic is about to happen with the doobie wrap. So I like to just take this kind of comb up so it can sit in front of my ear and mold and wrap that around. Kind of like what we just did with the other section and I like to kind of just put it in place like that. Kind of take those two sections mold it around even more and sometimes it'll budge up at the top and what i'll do is just kind of put a bobby pin at the top to kind of keep that molded i'm gonna take my hard brush again smooth it even more this adds more compression to the hair and honestly if you want to wear your hair bone straight i feel like doing this kind of makes it straighter especially if you're someone who likes to wear your hair in its natural state more often than straightened then sometimes your hair just doesn't want to act like it wants to get bone straight sometimes so it's really annoying but i feel like this is the magic that happens that really kind of compresses it even more so when you take it out the next day it's more straight if that makes sense so i put another bobby pin back there Again, I'm just going to, sometimes if this piece like falls, I'll just kind of mold it like that. Now you can take another piece, which I was about to do, but actually I'm about to show y'all how y'all really don't even have to completely finish the mold. This is what I do. I'll take the doobie wrap, put it over my head like so, all the way around. You're going to take where the part that you left off on, you're going to take this. Can y'all hear that rain? See, this is why I need to tie my hair down. <laughs> you're going to take the part that you left off on. Kind of make sure it's pretty smooth. Like to comb through a little bit. Now watch this. Lift the doobie wrap up a little bit. Take it. And literally wrap around like that boom now watch this some of it is still gonna fall out a little bit don't worry about that just keep smoothing and then what i like to do literally spin the wrap literally keep spinning it and spin and spin and then sometimes it'll get caught on some of the bobby pins what i do is kind of feel for the bobby pins take the bobby pins out this is why they have holes in it now you don't have to take all of them out if you don't want to, but I like to because I don't like to leave the little marks on my head. And make sure that as you're spinning, you're gathering all the hair in the net. Some of it may peek through, just kind of tuck and spin. And what it's doing is literally molding the hair in place. 
and wrapping it around smoother too and tighter so again more so like a compression boom my hair is wrapped and done y'all i don't do it the old school way anymore so i like to do that i'm gonna take my fan use scarf i like to go ahead and cover that up with a silk scarf especially if you're gonna go get in the shower y'all i do not play about water touching my hair when it's straightened cover like so and then take a bonnet and i am good to go to sleep and then let me show you how you take it down in the morning. All right, so boom, the next day when you take the satin scarf off, the bonnet off, you're going to take the doobie wrap off. Now, all I do is just kind of spin it off. Of course, I have one bobby pin still left in. You can shake through it, comb through it, and all you literally have to do is find your part. In my sake, I usually like to wear side parts <laughs> now mind you you want to make sure you keep your hair wrapped for a good little minute because um the more compression the longer the compression the straighter it gets in my opinion it's almost like when you think about getting a saran wrap but it's not a saran wrap all right y'all had to step away in the mirror because i literally could not see <laughs> on this camera but this is pretty much all you do just find your part the next morning or next day and that is it that is simply how you wrap your hair in a doobie wrap or just you know a hairnet however you want to call it but i am about to go pin curl my hair so stay tuned for the next video i'm going to show you guys in depth how i do my flat iron curls i love those more especially on my colored hair now and also because i'm trying to grow out my layers and i just feel like it looks 10 times better right now until my layers really just grow out but that's it you guys simple and easy no more failing at wrapping your hair so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys do this in the comment section down below give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button for more videos to come and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye